Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the series 11 of Principles of Drug Discovery. Let us see the role of antisense oligonucleotides in target discovery and target validation. What are antisense oligonucleotides? Antisense oligonucleotides refers to short synthetic strand of deoxyribonucleotide analog that hybridizes with the complementary mRNA via Watson Crick base pairing. And now let us see the principle of uh, this antisense oligonucleotides. Antisense uh, technology or antisense uh, oligonucleotides base pairs with the complementary sense RNA strand because it is an antisense. And though, so that pairs with the sense RNA strand and prevents it from being transcribed into a protein. The mRNA uh, in RNA DNA duplex is a substrate for uh, cellular ribonuclease H enzyme, RNAs H, an enzyme that destroys the RNA. RNAs H cleaves the RNA DNA duplex region of mRNA, thus induce a blockade of transfer of genetic information from DNA to protein. So, how the antisense oligonucleotides works? So, let us see from this uh, diagram uh, the from the DNA, it is transcribed into mRNA. So, this is mRNA. So, this mRNA gets trans, uh, translated to the required proteins by the cell. Let us see these, uh, let us say these are faulty proteins, so like which induces cancer or any disease. So, here comes the role of antisense. DNA oligonucleotides so that base pairs with the mRNA such that a duplex is formed which is digested by the RNAs H so it is not available for the cell to prepare its proteins which are infectious or which are causing a disease so this is the concept how ASO works so the first step is RNA degradation some antisense uh, oligonucleotides are designed to recruit cellular enzymes such as RNAs H which cleave the RNA strand they are bound to. So this leads to degradation of targeted RNA molecule preventing it uh, from being translated into a protein. Splice modulation. Antisense oligonucleotides uh, can be used to alter the splicing of pre-mRNA which affects how exons are combined during mRNA maturation. By influencing uh, splicing, the antisense oligonucleotides can lead to inclusion or exclusion of specific exons, creating different mRNA variants and subsequently affecting the resulting protein product. Then RNA blocking. In some cases, uh, the antisense oligonucleotides may simply sterically hinder the interaction of, of the target RNA with other cellular components, thus preventing its normal function. So, antisense oligonucleotides have been used to modify the expression of specific genes. They are not uh, only useful uh, in the study of loss of gene function and target validation, but also act as a novel therapeutic strategy to treat any disease that is linked to dysregulated gene expression. Antisense oligonucleotides can manipulate alternative uh, splicing. This can be used to modulate the ratio of uh, different splice variants are correct splicing defects so various uh, potential targets for uh, antisense oligonucleotides so let us see uh, from this table it is evident that uh, the potential target genes are her2 pka pka1 pka2 bcl2 uh, bcl xl and vegf so these are the targets which are related to breast cancer if the uh, antisense oligonucleotides target this it could be very useful in addressing the breast cancer the next example is insulin like uh, growth factor uh, so when uh, this is targeted by the antisense oligonucleotides it is very useful in treatment of prostate cancer then cmib it is uh, related to colon cancer and uh, leukemia so the antisense oligonucleotides uh, targeting the cmib is very useful in treatment of colon cancer and leukemia. PKA1, which is uh, expressed in breast, lung and prostate cancers, 
so when this is targeted by the antisense oligonucleotides they are useful in treating these cancers then lgrb2 which is expressed in the chronic myeloid leukemia and chronic lymphoid leukemia when the antisense oligonucleotides target this it is useful in addressing the cml and cll then pcsk9 pro protein converters subtilisin kexin uh, 9 uh, protein so this is related to hypercholesterolemia then uh, when the sa uh, the antisense oligonucleotides target this it's useful in prevention of or the treatment of hypercholesteremia so uh, let us see the fda approved drugs uh, for antisense oligonucleotides so the first antisense oligonucleotide was launched in the year 1998 it is very useful in uh, treatment of cytomegalovirus retinitis now the next uh, after five after uh, around uh, uh, there are uh, that is around 15 years mipomersen has been launched as an antisense oligonucleotide it is very useful in treatment of homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia then elaplinisen uh, it was launched in the year 2016 which is useful in treatment of dashin muscular dystrophy mucinerisen uh, was launched in the same year uh, 2016 useful in the treatment of uh, spinal muscular dystrophy nolerson uh, was launched in the year 2018 uh, which is useful in treatment of hereditary trans erythritin amyloidosis polyneuropathy and then uh, goldo uh, in 2019 and uh, vitalo vitalo larsen uh, launched in the year 2020 and casimerson launched in the year 2021 all are useful in the treatment of uh, dashin muscular dystrophy so antisense oligonucleotides are chemically synthesized using phosphoramidides the oligonucleotide chain proceeds in the direction of uh, 3 dash to 5 dash terminus antisense oligonucleotides are the molecules made of synthetic genetic material and they interact with the natural genetic material that codes the information for protein of protein production so antisense rna prevents post translation of certain mrna by binding to them antisense dna can be used to target a specific complementary rna so functions of antisense oligonucleotides so here you can see from the dna the mrna comes and that leads to some proteins which may be related to disease the antisense uh, oligonucleotides target this and uh, they prevent the formation of faulty proteins which are related to the disease so it is evident from here see the antisense oligonucleotides bind to the mrna and they stop the production of the faulty proteins from the ribosomes so this is the concept of uh, the antisense oligonucleotides so, but uh, the current research and uh, there are some limitations for antisense oligonucleotides antisense oligonucleotides have been uh, a subject of ongoing research and development and several uh, drugs have been approved by the regulatory agencies for clinical use but however like any other therapeutic approach there are challenges to overcome including the effective uh, delivery of the antisense oligonucleotides to the specific tissues and potential off target effects so it's a very short information of uh, the antisense oligonucleotides i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends if you like this video kindly press the like button go through all the series uh, which is uh, related to principles of drug discovery and score well in your exams thank you